Hey everybody, Tyson with HHL for Life. Hope you're all doing good, having fun, and all that kind of good stuff. I uh, just wanted to share a compilation of different videos with you, so enjoy. Hey everybody, this is Tyson with HHO for Life. I uh, just wanted to share a video um, of me making HHO with my microwave transformer. Um, let me explain my setup first. I have my power cord right here going to my microwave transformer. Um, and then from that, I have the wires leading over here to this full bridge rectifier. rectifier. It's a 6,000 volt um, rectifier. So, pretty good size. And you can see it's actually labeled for all of your inputs. So this is AC right here on this one, AC over here on this one, and then you have your um, DC positive right here and your DC negative coming off right here. And I just have them going over here um, to this little array of plates that I have in the water. And I can't leave it running for very long because the rectifier that I have isn't rated for very many amps. It's just actually rated for milliamps. Um, I think it's like 35 milliamps or something like that. Um, but anyway, it's not even an amp rating, so I don't want to burn it up. I actually did that with my other one. So I'll plug it in, and you can see it producing bubbles. No, oh, tripped my breaker, but I'll see if I can light the bubbles. Oops, sorry, not even showing it. But you can hear the little bubbles popping. They're just teeny little, super fine bubbles. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this. Um, when I plug it in. Okay, you see all the bubbles? I'm gonna try to light it with a lighter. Oh, there we go, tripping it again. Alright. I did a little change to this setup that I have. So I have it set up exactly as before except for one thing. On one of my AC lines, I connected the, the capacitor that was in the microwave. Um, and so you can see from this wire right here on the microwave transformer I have it leading over here to the capacitor and then on this other end of the capacitor I have that leading over here to the rectifier um, off on this side and then that limits the amount of amperage that I draw for some reason because it caps it off I guess um, so I guess I'm learning a little bit more as I just experiment I'm gonna plug it in now and you'll see that it doesn't really draw a whole lot of power. I wish I had a, a tester uh, for it to see how much it draws but now as you can see I'm making bubbles. Little HHO bubbles. So and you can see kind of the square shape that it's making as it's released. So let's try lighting this. Oop, my lighter in a little bit too far. There we go. There we go. Still going. Don't know what the temperature of the water is. I don't want to touch it yet. <laughs> I'll wait till it's unplugged and then wait for my capacitor to discharge all the way and then I'll touch it. So.
And this is, these are, wow. Brand new uh, stainless steel wall plates that I got from Lowe's. Um, so you can see that little coat forming on the surface. It's kind of like a whitish color. I don't know what that's from. It's probably from the stainless steel plates. They haven't been conditioned yet, so. Um, all right. Wow, it's still cold as can be. Hasn't warmed up really at all. That's pretty impressive because if you have had any electrolyte, as you guys know, it can uh, get hot pretty dang fast and it's not warm at all. So that's with the high 2000 volts. Um, I'm going to keep testing. I'm going to see what I can do about getting more microwave transformers and just connect them together and produce more voltage. So if any of you guys have any microwave transformers that you can get a hold of and send to me um, as a donation, I'd appreciate that as well. Um, that would be awesome so that I can start doing it with higher voltage. Not many, very many people are uh, willing to test with that with high voltage. Um, I don't know if they're scared of it or, or what, but I'm trying it for you guys so you don't have to. Um, you can do it if you want to though, so. Okay. This is Taz with HHO for Life. How's it going, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good day, that they're being safe, having fun, coming along with their experiments and stuff. All right, something cool that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm here with my microwave transformer making HHO. It is HHO, like I showed you before. Uh, got my magnet stuck to it. My lighter, so. <laughs> okay, I'll have to light it. Whoa. Not little suckers. Okay, anyway, I discovered something really cool. Um, and I'm sure some of you guys probably already know this, but I have these little round gold plated neodymium magnets. Strong little suckers. It's crazy. So I was putting these uh, near the, the wires and stuff to see if uh, it would do anything. Whoa, whoa, that's a crazy vibration. If it would do anything as far as uh, changing the current flowing through the wires and stuff. And I had it in my hand and it starts vibrating like crazy because it's by the, the electrical field. Well. I can literally feel the vibration clear over here. This magnet's vibrating, so I was like, what the heck? I want to I wonder if you can hear it. So, <laughs> I took this and I put it really close up to my ear. And you can literally hear it vibrating when you have it right next to your ear. Um and I thought that was really awesome. Just a plain old magnet in air vibrating like crazy. Um, so I am going to try putting this on the camera next to the speaker. And I want to see if you guys can hear it. Whoa! 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 Sorry that was a close up on my face, but... Holy cow, I put it by this microwave transformer. Whoa! You can probably hear it. Let's see if you can hear it. vibrating wow whoa whoa check it out see how it's vibrating like that on the uh, transformer well it does that same thing in my hand so oh it, it, it's it got to a point where it stopped for a second but it's just because it's an alternating current I think and since the current's going back and forth so fast the magnet can't find it, it doesn't have time to attach to one side or another or else it's flipping so it's able to vibrate and rotate like that so let's see if we can get it going again there we go so all right well 
Just wanted to show you another video with my microwave transformer. Oh, this time what I did is I have these heat sinks right here that I pulled off of a circuit board. Um, and I connected a negative and positive end up to this. Um, and I just wanted to show you that there's no bubbles being created from the positive end. There's only bubbles being produced from the negative end, which is the hydrogen bubbles. And if you follow this line right over here, follow it all the way around and see where it connects in. Bam, this is negative. Okay, so now I'm going to connect the power up to it. And that's noisy here is just these little heat sinks vibrating on my microwave transformer. But look at this. I thought it was pretty neat, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, check it out. There's only bubbles coming off of the, uh, the hydrogen end. Bring this color over here to show you that nothing's coming off of the oxygen end. Just the hydrogen. I wanted to bring it closer to see what happens. See if it'll produce more. Looks like it might produce a teeny bit more, but I don't know if it's enough to really make it much of a difference. Um, if I could really get these close together, then that would be awesome. I want to see what happens after that, but... See what happens when I pull the, uh... Um... Positive side out. Everything stops. Of course. Oh, created a little bit of, uh... Plasma there for a second. So... I thought that was pretty neat, so I just wanted to show you guys that only bubbles are coming off of the uh, hydrogen side, not the oxygen side. But, alright. Unplugger. Alright, just another note I wanted to make. Um, I put the uh, negative to all of the stainless steel plates and then just the positive to that little uh, heat sink piece of aluminum see what happens and we do get more production of hydrogen um, as you can see and I don't know if you can tell very well or not but it's coming off of all the plates even though they're not touching each other um, hydrogen still pre being produced it's probably because it's high voltage and so it, it it's such high voltage that it arcs across the plates and allows it to come off of all of the uh, the plates is what I'm guessing, I don't know. Just a guess, so. But, it doesn't work, it's not definitely not producing as much as if I have a negative to one side and a positive to the other. Um, of course, so. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. So you can see it coming off of all the plates. All that kind of good stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Alright, see you later, bye.